Yesterday, I was talking to a friend of mine and um, who owns a tech company in London, and they've been working with a headhunter um, to find them talent. And the relationship was good. However, um, part of that in part of that relationship, the headhunter had actually started to poach their own staff. So they were working with them, and they were poaching from them. Now. I asked them a little bit around if they had any terms in the contract for that to stop them doing it. But for me, it doesn't matter what the terms say, it's about that level of trust and commitment. And they asked me what advice I would give them um, to stop it from happening and from poaching their staff. Well, first of all, or trying to poach their staff. First of all, I would have spoken to that owner of that recruitment company and asked them why they were doing it, if they wanted to be a trusted partner. But I would have also said, look, if First of all, if, you, if the employees of, of, the, of, of my friend's company are not happy, they're going to leave anyway. It doesn't matter who's phoning them up, it doesn't matter if they're phoning them up 10 times a day, they're, they're, not, they're, not, they're going to leave anyway. Yeah. So you want to create, first of all, you want to create that environment where people are happy okay, so and enjoying the place that they're working in. But I would have also approached back to that company and said, look, do you want to work with us as a trusted partner or do you want to hunt from us? Because you, cause you can't do both. And that's not, a, not, not a, a, a relationship that I would want to have if I was working with someone. So perhaps it's time to finish that relationship anyway and not work with that company. And again, going back to that happy employees, you want to make sure your employees are happy. They're always going to get approached by people. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Look after them. And if they're ready to leave, they're going to leave anyway. The third thing you can do, you know, and this is a bit dramatic, but you know, if you're part of a network, as my uh, uh, friend is, is a CEO of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a tech company, you know, that company, that, that headhunter, that agency who's let them down is not going to get a good re reputation in the market. You know, and if he's telling that company, hey, look, you know, I'm going to share that with people and I'm going to let them know the, the unethical way yeah. you've approached, yeah. perhaps they're going to back off because they don't want their name to be like that in the market. And for a long-term relationship, it's not going to help them anyway. So you need to make sure you're working with those trusted partners. Love to hear what you think about this. It's always a fine line, but you know, you cannot be poaching from people that you're working with. In my view, it's just unethical and you want to treat that company as a true partnership. I'm sure it's happening out there. Would love to hear what you think. I love it when a bus comes past. Have a great day and uh, just drop any notes in the comment box around this.